I'm glad I was uh, far enough away. <laughs> George and Cap are coming up with me. And, uh, and Hi, right there. Prime Minister of Turkey. Yes, hello there. Nice to see you. Well, it's good to see you. We can almost go through it. Yes. Mr. President. Mr. Prime Minister. Good morning, sir. And the Ambassador. Hello there. Good to see you. The Advisor to the Prime Minister.
took place 20 years ago when I presented the Russell Bronze Meet for Wild Men, which is now on the first floor. The second gift was the Harnett painting, which is in your foyer, which is so beautiful. It's the Cincinnati Enquirer, but you can actually read the newspaper that he painted. Now, I find myself in the Roosevelt Room with another presentation. Yes. This famous Charlie Russell that you admired so much, Mr. President. And I want you to know that speaking on behalf of the donors here, we think that by preserving a bit of Americana for your administration, which has done so much to strengthen the resolve of patriotism for our forebears, that we couldn't think of a better way to say to you, happy birthday. <laughs> yeah. And it's a happy birthday for the nation. And I, uh, I brought a little inexpensive gift. It was on my desk. It was given to me by your good friend, Reverend Robert Schuler. And I want to, I want to open it. Yeah, okay. I want to read what it says. A little bronze plaque. It gave me a great deal of comfort many times. And I hope it will you. It says, Tough times never last, but tough people do. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, <laughs> well, I'm very pleased to have 
practice, and I can't tell you how much I appreciate all of you doing this. I have been a devotee of Western art for many years, and uh, I just want to tell you probably this is a difference between us, why you are giving paintings and I'm receiving them instead of doing the other. Back when that kind of ridiculous scrawl and art was all the great fad, and people were buying them and paying fantastic prices, I was making a prediction for very shortly that if you discover Western art, and the paintings of Remington and Russell, Russell and Paul and this, and I said that over and over again to everyone. And I turned out to be absolutely right, except where the difference is, I never bought a damn picture. <laughs> <laughs> I just talked about it. <laughs> but this is wonderful. And uh, thank you very much. And thank you for the yes. talk. <laughs> thank you very much. Yes. Well, it belongs on your desk. <laughs> I think they want to get some pictures. Yeah, we can get Dr. Oh, Hammer, can you come here? Uh, here. Come on, Frank. Yes, we're going to block the picture, huh? Yeah, no, that's fine. All right. All right. Hey, Frank, just wait a minute. I know, but I'm going to the picture. <laughs> Good. Thank you. Come around this way, Dr. Hammond, will you please? What? Come around this way, please. Thank you. Did you just sign, Doctor? This is our communication. This is Thank you. Have a good time. Oh, yes. She's going to try and get some of those. I know. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank The woman has better handwriting than the president. I don't know, mine keeps getting worse and worse and worse. I missed it too. I think they were being overly. I had all kinds of funny things to say. It was me. Oh, I see. Since there's, since there's no press, it's really, really private here. Is there any of you ever going to? Is it Fort Worth? I think this Western Park Museum down there. Do you know about the basement? We have a basement. No, I don't. Know. There. We don't just people just don't go through. Now and then, I'll select individuals. But it seems like in those calcium days, what they would do that uh, he would pay a doctor sometimes for doing some painting.